This is a short introduction to cis, trans, and easy designations used in chemical nomenclature. The groups attached by the double bond are not free to rotate with respect to one another. The groups are locked into a configuration where they are fixed either on the same or on the opposite sides. The cis-trans system. The older, more common way of naming and specifying the configuration in alkenes uses the prefixes cis and trans. The molecules below are labeled cis-2-butene and trans-2-butene, respectively. Identifying cis or trans. The two organic molecules above are isomers. They each contain four carbons and eight hydrogens. The difference between these two molecules is the arrangement of carbons with respect to the central double bond. Naming cis or trans. The butene on the left has both methyl groups on the same side. Therefore, by definition, it is designated as a cis isomer. The butene on the right has methyl groups on the opposite sides. Therefore, by definition, it is designated as the trans isomer. Cis or trans continued. Another step in naming alkenes involves designating the location of the double bond. The first step should be identifying the longest carbon chain. The second step should be to number the carbons from one end to the other such that the double bond is given to the lowest possible number. Lastly, place the number where the double bond begins with a hyphen in front of the name. The EZ system. The newer method of specifying the configuration of alkenes uses the designation E for integrin, German for opposite, or Z, Zuzeman, German for together. An advantage of this system is that it is applicable for specification of the configuration of a tri and tetra substituted alkenes. To assign E or Z, one needs to prioritize the groups attached to each carbon of the double bond. On the left, there is a Z molecule, and on the right, an E. Prioritization Rule 1 In regards to the atom directly bonded to each carbon of the double bond, the higher the atomic number, the higher the priority. Using the priority rules, identify each substituent as having either a higher or lower priority. If the higher priority substituents are on the same side of the double bond, the alkene has a Z configuration. If the higher priority substituents are on the opposite side of the double bond, the alkene has an E configuration. And here's an example. Remember to use these rules for prioritizing. Here's an alkene. Notice that the two highest priority substituents are on opposite sides of the double bond. Because these two substituents are higher than the other two and are on opposite sides of the double bond, this molecule will be designated as in an E configuration. Similarly, look at this organic molecule its two highest substituents are on the same side. So this organic molecule will be designated as a Z configuration. Prioritization rule two. If the atom bonded to the carbon of the double bonds are the same, then look at the atom bonded immediately next to the atom bonded to the carbon of the double bond. Here's a short graphic to explain this further. And here's an example. Use this graphic for help. Look at this organic molecule. Which configuration would you designate it, E or Z? Remember to use the existing priority rules. 
these two substituents have the highest priority. Designating this molecule as an E configuration. Look at this organic molecule. These two substituents have the highest priority based on the priority rules, designating this molecule as a Z configuration. Prioritization Rule 3 Atoms bonded to a double or triple bond are treated as if they are singly bonded to the same number of atoms. Here's a few examples. And here's an example. Look at this organic molecule. Would you designate it as an E or a Z? Using the priority rules, notice that these two substituents have a higher priority than these substituents. And because these substituents are on the opposite sides of the double bond, this molecule will be designated as an E configuration. Now let's look at this molecule. Again, notice that these substituents have a higher priority than the other substituents. They too are also on the opposite sides of the bond and have a higher priority because these substituents have multiple bonds to higher priority atoms. Making this molecule again an E configuration. Naming easy alkenes is very systematic. Designate the location of the double bond first. Then identify the longest carbon chain. Number each carbon so that the carbon on the double bond is given the lowest possible number. Then place the corresponding number with a hyphen in front of the base name. Easy for other double bonds. The easy system can be used to designate the configuration of atoms in double bonds other than alkene molecules. Here's an example. An E configuration and a Z configuration. This concludes a short introduction to the using EZ and cis-trans designations in organic molecules. Thanks.